programmatically how I think about what an art museum could be. While the Berman focuses on contemporary art, it also focuses on ideas. Well, it's, it's a surround audio experience, uh, also a, performance, a performative experience, but it starts with the idea um, of having a, a 150 channel sound system. The performers are all set around the audience in 10 groups. Uh, they all have individual timed scores and the, the uh, sounds go around the space and across the space. The, the number of sounds you can actually get out of a hammer and nails is pretty limited. So the whole idea then is to make architecture out of the sound, to have a kind of sonic architecture so that you really feel the way you're listening is not so much a, you know, there isn't going to be a nice uh, tritone or a chord or anything like that. Where the sound is, is more important than what it is, essentially. And because the multiplication of the sounds is so immense, you know, 150 people maybe just shaking nails in a bag, uh, you get this kind of cloud formation of, of sounds. What I hope people get from it, and it's the thing that I hear a lot uh, at Ursinus and I totally embrace, is that Ursinus is a risk-taking institution. And the fact that they've made this the signature event to celebrate the 150th anniversary, I, I think says a lot about the college.